Hello, how's everyone doing? So, um, I've come to realise I need a power supply or a bench supply to do my wacky experiments and testing and stuff. So I had an old uh, old PCs that I stripped in my last videos and I'm going to convert an old CPU into a power supply. I've already sort of done it here but I'm going to show you anyway um, how good it turned out and yeah I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with it so I thought I would share this because it is good it's not so much a tutorial it's more of my journey on how I made it there's plenty online that you can check out um, I've chosen I've chosen not to spend any money on it which is good so this is all recycled stuff everything that I've, I've, I've like saved from going in the bin and I've made something that I will use out of it now, I haven't got like a screen that you can use um, on normal power supplies but I'll show you anyway but the good thing is it's cost me nothing. There you go. So this build for me is about doing it without spending a single penny. And yeah, doing it. So I've got all these components that I've, I've, I've claimed and saved to go in the bin. So I'm going to use these. So what we've got is two LEDs to stand by and power on. We've got a switch to turn it on. I've got these chocolate blocks. Well, I'll explain in a minute what they're for. Grommet. A resistor. Now all I could find was a... I think it's a 5 watt at 47 ohm. I think that will be enough to keep this stable for a dummy load. But it can always be changed in the future. But that's what that's for. Some resistors for the LEDs. And some Wago clips of mine, my favourite. And they're what I'm going to be connecting to my 3.312 ground and so on. Um, I've only got a couple of posts. And I haven't got the right colours and I don't like them. I want to build with this and try how this goes. So that's what we're going to do. There's the parts. Let's crack on. The first thing you're going to need to know is your wiring. Now, I've done a bit of research and found the green is your signal wire. So when that touches ground, it will turn the power supply on. So we need them, that one there, the green. The purple is your standby. So that will go there with one of the LEDs. I'll put a schematics up once I've built it so you can follow it if you wish. Um, and then your grey is going to go, bear with, to the other LED, which is the on. And then you've obviously got your different voltages here. There's two wires that I don't need, and that is blue and white. So I'm going to snip them short and leave them inside so they're out of the way. I don't want to cram too much into here because you want the airflow. So... Now you know that, let's crack on. So what I plan to do is these wires here. So my yellow is 12 volt, black is ground. My red is 5 volt and the orange is 3.5. So these are the three, they're all joined in the board you see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these quite short because I don't want all these little wires coming out. And I'm going to use one of these because they've got a big big one so I can stick them all into one and then bring one nice thick wire out of the side okay so that's what I'm gonna do that's the only soldering I've done for the LEDs and resistors there is the standby that's the power on for the LED and then this one is just the grounds for all the LEDs plus it's going to be connected to my 5 volt with my dummy load which is that Right, so as you can see, I've got all of them in them connectors put through here. Yes, I know they're the wrong colour. Um, that's all I've got, but I will sort that out later. There is my dummy load that's connected to the 5 volt rail to ground. And then these are obviously my LEDs with the resistors on these ones. There you go. And I've put the switch and the LEDs up there. I'll put the schematics up, like I said, for you guys to follow, if you so wish. But this is really not a tutorial, this is just how I'm doing it. And there we go, so you've got your ground going to the Wago clip. You've got your 3.3 volt, your 5 volt, your 12 volt. Then you've got your power supply on, which is your green, going to your switch, back to ground. Then you've got your power good, which is meant to be grey. I know that's not quite grey there, but I didn't have a grey colour. That then lets you know once this is on that that light LED lights up through the resistor back to ground. 
Then you've got your purple, which is your standby, which goes up to your standby LED, again, back to the resistor through the ground. When you switch it off, that standby will always be on. There's always five volts in this line. That's meaning standby until you switch it off at the power or behind your um, CPU. Some CPUs have got a power already built in, like that one there. There's all of the diagrams so you can get to know what everything is. Um, it's not perfect, all this was laying around, so I used what I had, but it works. I've already tested it, it's great. And like I said, all the wires that are coming out of, out of it, I've changed and put heavy gauge wire coming out, so I haven't got loads of little ones, which works pretty well. And there is the end result. So, shall we test it? Right, so it's all on, I'm gonna switch it on now. Standby is ready, power on, and there we go. That's running off the 12 volt, I'll move that away so we don't blind you. There we go, and I'll move this in focus. So I've already got it into negative, let's put it into the 3.3 volt, without getting my hands in the way. And there we go, we've got 3.4, it's good enough for me. 5 volt, which I'll get my hands out the way. 5.1 volt, which is great. And last but not least, your 12 volt, which there is a load on it, which is at 11.6, so I'll take that load off. There we go, so it goes to 11.9, which is good enough for me. So yeah, absolutely works. Happy as Larry. Also, I forgot to mention that these have got protection built in, so if you overload it, they turn off anyway. So yeah, good little project. It's quite sleek. And there we go. It's actually turned out really well, hasn't it? I, I think it's great. I love, you know, the Wago clips, like I said. They, they've, they're stuck on quite nice, and it's just easy pulling in and out, and I can modify this anytime I want. But yeah, um, turned out really well. Well, I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.